Hey everybody, Wildman West here. And I'm Hefe. And welcome to day 20 of What's Your Poison's 24 Beers of Christmas. Getting down to that final stretch. <laughs> Five more beers left. Day 20. Oh yeah. Oh, wait. Well, my turn now. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we have from Riggs Beer Company, American Lager. 100% farm family owned, 90% solar powered brewery. From Urbana, Illinois. I can't really make fun of Urbana because I went to school, you know, hey, I went to ISU, so it's close to Central Illinois. So Riggs can't... American Lager isn't fancy, but it sure is special. It's brewed using traditional double mash process. We use a special variety of Riggs grown white corn, well as Riggs grown six row barley malt to give this beer an old American flavor. America! America! I'm not excited about this beer at all. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, hey, they, they can prove us wrong. We've been proved wrong before. Perhaps. Perhaps. Per hoops. Per snaps. Per snaps. Hmm. Accepted. Yeah, well then. Look at that! It looks like a lager. Surprise, surprise. Are we still in the 1940s voices from last episode? <laughs> Well, I'm not doing that black and white shit anymore. Are the people in Urbana past the 1980s in their pop culture? It's like Iraq. Oh! oh. I mean, they're solar powered, so they're a little ahead of the game. That's nice. Smells like a lager. Smells like a lager. All right, well, jingle jangle. Jingle jangle, sir. All right, here we go. Tastes like a lager. Something. Hold on. Hold on. I need sip number two. Electric Boogaloo. Very barley. Yeah, that, that, there's some like, that, that's hefty barley. That's that double mash process they're talking about, I guess. I don't mash know. Mash something, I don't know. I mean, I, I ain't mad. I'm not mad either, I just, I don't know. I mean, this definitely would make America happy. Yeah. Oh. You, know, you know what? I'll put my foot down on this one. We're gonna have to do a um, a seventh tier process. To oh Jesus Christ! Christ. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> seventh Merry Christmas. Christmas. The seventh layer of hell, ladies and gentlemen. It's not nice. It's not naughty. It's not anything. But it's 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 ninety. Ninety. 90. It's right down the middle. Mm. Ninety. Mm. Remember your sweater. At some times I used to mix and match the word. Yeah. This is ninety. Ninety. I don't 90. know, man. I'm just. I'm saying ninety. Oh. Nah. Sorry, Riggs. I'm not down. I'm not feeling it. Like I'm just naughty. Bad naughty? Yeah. Like I just, Silent Night Deadly. I don't want it. I just don't want to drink it. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Thanks for trying. I guess I'll, I'll definitely try 100% of your other beers. Uh, all of the other beers that you offer outside of this, I will try them. Um, I, I'm not like marking off this brewery or anything. I just, I don't know. It's a little rough. It's if for a lager. I'm just. It's not as smooth and enjoyable as it should be. Like I feel like I'm kind of taking it down a little bit, and I feel like that's how a lot of pure-blooded Americans drink their beer. They know that their beer doesn't taste good. They just do it because they feel like they have to. And that's how I feel about this beer. I feel like I'm gonna drink it because I have to, which means I'm not gonna drink it anymore. Fair enough. Well. Moving on to the second half of this episode. Now that we've established this kind of eh, I don't know, we've had a tradition on Dragon Fire Entertainment on the 12 days of Christmas normally, where we do a movie review on a movie for Christmas that isn't necessarily a Christmas movie. However, there is a moment that takes place on Christmas, so therefore we try to figure out whether or not it is a Christmas movie, and you, the fans, can decide for yourselves. Today, and I helped. Yep, today he helped. We are going to be talking about the 1990 classic Edward Scissorhands by Tim Burton. Not a Christmas movie! Shut up! This is what I gotta deal with, folks. This is what I gotta deal with. Anyways, most of you have probably seen this movie. It's about a young man named Edward Scissorhands, or Edward, who lives on the far reaches of town in an old abandoned mansion. And a woman named Peg comes by as 
Avon calling, and happens to find him living alone, and she feels bad for him. So she takes him in to her family to live and try to enjoy some form of a normal, stable life <laughs> in Tim Burton's universe, of course. He befriends a lot of the neighbors. He has scissors for hands, and they find out that he's actually quite a hairdresser, and not just that, a good head trimmer. Well, there are some people in the, you know, the town that don't like him, especially this overbearing Christian named Esmeralda, as well as Peg's daughter's boyfriend, Jim, and they try to pin a frickin' crime on him, like they set him up, and he doesn't really, you know, know what to do about it, but in the end, he finds his place taking revenge out on the people that wronged him, and you know, well, you never see him again, other than that. I mean, I kind of spoiled it, but, you know, I probably cut out a lot of things, but you know what? You've all seen the movie. It's Johnny fucking Depp, for God's sakes. You've seen all of his movies. You pay money. You pay good money now, don't you? Well, ooh, I sense I've gone too far. So I'll quit while I'm ahead. Mm. Now it's time to talk about what I like and what I don't like. Please. Oh, what I like about the movie. First off, the cast. I mean, apart from Johnny Depp, I mean, you've got Winona Ryder. This was also during the time of the Johnny Depp-Winona Ryder relationship where he had Winona forever and then he had the tattoo removed to say, why no forever, which... Having a drink. Yes. But anyways, you have Diane Weist, you have Alan Arkin, you have the late, great, legendary Vincent Price as the inventor. I mean, I love that. And the reason why I feel that this is a Christmas movie is there are two times that Christmas is involved. The first time is when the, they do flashbacks of the inventor creating Edward. And on Christmas Eve, the inventor is going to give Edward his hands. His hands! The big moment that we all were hoping for. Hoping. That Edward was going to be human. human! And what happens? Vincent Price dies of a fucking heart attack, and Edward does not get his hands on Christmas. Therefore, he becomes a Grinch in his own right. A loner. Whew. It's just another version of that story. That's a yeah. that's, yes, that's, that's but basic the second, Christmas. But the second is the end of the movie where it takes place on Christmas Eve, and uh, let's see, the father, uh, let's see, one of Ryder's character, Kim, her father is doing a little hedge clipping himself while Edward is chopping up some ice on a sculpture, and Kim is dancing around and dancing through the snow particles, and then her boyfriend Jim catches him in the act, and then all of a sudden he gets distracted, cuts her hand, and, you know, it's Christmas Eve, and he takes revenge on Jim trying to kill him. Fantastic. Yeah. Merry Christmas. But every <laughs> But like Deadpool said, every love story starts with a murder. Yes. So, that being said, what I don't like about the movie, I can't really say I don't like anything about it. I, I really can't. I love that movie. I mean, not just the cast, but I mean, most of the music was made was done by Tom Jones. I mean, come on, you know? I mean, it's not unusual for Tom Jones to not have music. It's not unusual! Yes. That was by Carl. Yes, <laughs> But, no, I mean, I love Tim Burton's movies for the most part. There are some that I kind of, you know, I look the other way just because it is what it is. But this one is definitely on the top of my list. Mm. Definitely. And for not being a Christmas movie, but kind of a Christmas movie, I'm going to give this one A-. minus. There you go. A minus. A minus for Edward Scissorhands. Because of the fact that it's not technically a Christmas movie, but I'm... Reviewing it as a Christmas movie because of Christmas references. Is that a Christmas movie? Shut up! I'll deal with you later. Mom and Dad, it's almost Christmas. Stop arguing! Okay, son. I'll lay off the eggnog tomorrow. Give I me a good this. beer. Okay. I want a good beer. Well, that being said, Hefe will hopefully get a good beer tomorrow. But make sure, before that happens, you leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down if you really didn't like all that was going on today. Make sure you share on social media. And as always, it's the gift of giving. Push that little red button and ring the bell for instant notifications. Other than that, I'm well now. I'm heavy! He's mad now. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you your favorite bedtime story? Never! Okay, yes. Okay, good. And you'll get a good beer before you go to bed. Yay! Okay. I'm Wild Man Wes. And I'm Hefe. And we'll see you next time on day 21 on What's Your Poison's 24 Beers of Christmas. Stay tuned because 21 is actually very important. Because we're hitting a very important number and milestone on 
beer. See you soon.